Okay, this is my afterthought video regarding Derek Chisora. As we know, uh, if you don't already know, uh, David Hay, the haymaker, made a successful comeback knocking Derek Chisora out within five rounds. Now, it's very easy, you know, after a fight to turn around and say, oh, I told you David would win in five rounds. You know, um, I thought, we might well, for a lot of people, it seemed that the fight was 50 50. Um, one group he was saying, oh yeah, David will blast him out in a couple of rounds. Another thought of people were thinking, you know what, this gets into the second half of the fight, it'd be Derek's fight. Well, it so turned out that within the five rounds, David was able to knock out Derek. Um, so what happens now? So it's very easy as well for people to say, oh, well, David's won his fight. Let's focus on him, what he's going to do. David may or may not continue to fight again. But the challenge now, I would say, as a boxing fan, or a, let's put it this way, if you were not so much David Hayes' manager, if you were Derek Chisora's manager, what would you do with him now? Some would say, ah, he's crap, man, he's fat, he's crap, he should, um, he should retire. He's had four fights that he's lost. Let's say three fights. And let's, let's, let's forget about the Tyson Fury fight of him being out of shape. And let's forget about the Hellenius fight. So then we look at the two clear defeats he's had. He's had one against Vitaly Klitschko. And he's had one, well, it's been quite a bad knockout defeat to um, David Hay. Now, the David Hay defeat, the knockout, I think I did allude to it somewhere in my video regarding um, the possibility of Dave, Derek not following instructions from his trainer. Now... I know Frank Warren does mention this thing about experience. He's saying that how um, Derek hasn't got enough experience. He hasn't had enough experience. Well, I think, Derek, this is a message to you as well. I think, I'm sure you're going to come back. And when you do come back, I would suggest you get, take your career a lot slower. And have fights where you can start getting, building up a wing record. You know, because it's like anything. You get yourself into a rhythm a system of winning um, and bringing back that winning mentality um, instead of rushing yourself into top top flight fights I think you know you should be taking fights people would rush you to go and fight their, um, David Price um, I would avoid the David Price fight for now um, it might be great for boxing fans or boxing fans may love that Derek if I were you now I would look to be like I said look to get yourself some fights some winnable fights. Um, I'd look to get some winnable fights. Um, I'd stick with Don Charles. Um, I know a lot of people saying that you should leave Don Charles. I think you should stick with Don Charles. Um, I think he's one person you can trust who will fight for your corner. Um, but concentration is important. Discipline is important. important. I'd like to leave, see you lose uh, a bit more weight and come in a bit more disciplined for fights. Um, I think uh, 17 stone 9 pound is a bit heavy. I mean, I thought at the night you'd be able to carry it, you look fairly quick, but then again, you're fighting a cruiserweight or a, a, light, a, a cruiserweight in uh, David Hay. I was coming at 15 stone, but you know, he was pretty quick. Um, you may get away with that weight against heavyweights that move a lot slower, but I would like to see you come in a lot lighter. Um, I'm not sure about where David says if you and him, if you, you were to lose the weight to his, to make his weight. Um, you'd make it because you carry excess fat. I don't believe that so much. Um, I think that's just David talking for talking's sake. But, you know, to lose weight would be key to coming, not just in ability to go 12 rounds, but not only you can set pace, but you can concentrate that you, you know, you're fighting fit. Um, I think this is very important. And to have some tune up fights. I think have some tune-up fights and maybe out of the public uh, for a while see how when Amir Khan lost to Prescott a bad knockout defeat they guided his career slowly back to the world stage now the thing is Frank Warren whether he believed in you or not he's put you in the title fights and there will be a clamor for you to fight David Price that's what the fans will want. You can't afford to be fighting David Price now. Um, 
if you get inside and you hit him and you hurt him, fine. But that's if you get inside. But again, if Price lands on you, um, you know, see the theory is now there's an expression. If you've been knocked out once, your chin's been checked. There's a liability you get knocked out again. Let's say once your chin's been cracked, um, we don't know what sort of fighter you're going to be when you come back. Now you've been knocked out. So I think you should take some fights. And you deserve to have fights now that are less challenging. You need to get your confidence back. So you get your confidence back. Um, I would look to develop your style more. To be able to get inside and to let your hands go. And I think one of the ways to do that, again, is by you losing weight. Your technical skill. I mean, I don't know what was going on in the fight where you were throwing that right hand. It, it, like a chopping right hand, but it kept missing all the time. So either that's something you're not doing often or it's something that you weren't doing properly in training. I don't know what it was or why you were throwing it because I think it was the right hand you tried to throw. It was a lazy right hand that was thrown. And then uh, Mr. Hey check, check hooked you, um, which caused demise of you getting knocked out. So I think uh, it'll be interesting to see also the people around you, you know, now that you've lost, in the way that you've lost, whether they're going to still be around you afterwards, because there's always this this a defeat like this, as bad as this, people may feel that it's time to uh, leave you or leave around you. And it's always the case. I mean, I'm sure with every fighter, when they lose a fight, this happens. So maybe it's a time for you to be really sit down, do some soul searching, and think about how you're going to come back. Um, but technically, you need to tighten up for sure. Um, you have got the ability. I still, think, I still believe in you, even though you've been beaten by David Hay. Um, I think the punch that you got knocked out with, I think you walked onto it. And I think you, you know, like I said, I, I don't think, I don't believe that you um, were concentrating for me. Um, and it's very easy to back a winner in the sense that you know, oh yeah, David's gonna win. I still believe you'll do it. I still believe you're gonna do it. But you need to be a lot more dedicated, to be honest. A lot more dedicated. And um, get that feeling back of being a winner before you end up being used as a journeyman. And that's just straight words. So there needs to be a plan, some sort of a plan, a plan for yourselves and Don Charles to sit down and think about David Hay and Adam Booth. Supposedly, the story is they met together and they had a plan, they put a plan together as to what they wanted to do and how they wanted to achieve it. What was your plan, Derek? Okay. Or well, what is the plan for you to go for? There needs to be some sort of a plan. Um, the obviously, the other thing is when you get inside, when you get the opportunity, do you not let your hands go? Is that an experience thing? Is that a confidence thing? Why is that? You know? Um, so I'd suggest you have some, some tune up fights. Out of the public light um, and get your confidence to work on things to build your technique up to, to, to you know to rededicate yourself fighting constantly regularly so take your rest come back and fight regularly um, you know um, that's what I would suggest okay I think that's about it Derek if you're watching this I still believe in you, man. Um, I still believe you've got what it takes to be a champion. Um, some people might think I'm deluded because you got knocked out by David Hay. I'm not so sure. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, stick with it. Have a think about what I've said, if you can hear what I'm saying. And uh, just plan, man. And plan well. Okay, that's me. I'm out.